All right, hey, welcome to the Man Cave. Uh, just real quick for the video gets started, um, I just you know wanted to recognize, I realize the video's a little long, but there's a lot of good information in here on this truck. Um, what I think um, is good with it, um, maybe a few things that are bad with it, um, but watch the video till the end. I really would like y'all's comments on it. Let me know what you think. You know, maybe some things you'd like to see us do to the truck. Um, you know, I'm, I'm open to, to anything. You know, if we should maybe change out the headlights, you know, they are the stock factory headlights. Very few things on this truck have been changed other than it's been lifted with tires and wheels. Uh, maybe we should get rid of some of the chrome on it. Um, you know, let me know what y'all think. Um, we'd like to grow this channel and, uh, you know, see what we can um, do here and, uh, you know, maybe make some good content that people would like to see. So watch till the end and uh, let me know what you think. All right, let's get to the video. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today here, we're gonna do a little review on my uh, pickup truck that I have. Um, purchased this truck uh, it's a 2015 Ford F-150 purchased this truck about 10 months ago um, I just I kind of came across it um, as I was um, driving down the road in my Mustang and I'd been thinking about getting rid of the Mustang and putting it up for sale and just wasn't sure if I wanted to you know put it up for sale trade it in you know what did I want to do I, I really hate to get rid of it but kind of a bigger guy and it just isn't a good fit for me um, as what I would consider my daily driver. So driving down the road going past where I had purchased my white Ford pickup truck that I have it's a 2010 F-150 and um, saw this truck sitting there on their parking lot off to the side so turned around went back in and went in and talked to the guys and um, like I said they kind of remembered me from when I had purchased the, the white truck and <clears throat> and um, told him I was looking looking for a truck and I kind of liked what they had sitting out there on the side and he said well so we really hadn't put it out here on the lot yet I've been kind of driving it getting a feel for it just to see if it's what I like you know uh, do we need to do anything to it before we put it up for sale but he said but we can go for a drive in if you'd like and we got in the truck and went for a drive I was sold I just I had to have it uh, and so I, I bought it and I traded in the Mustang on it and uh, actually gave me a really good price on the Mustang. I actually made a little bit of money on it on the trade-in and um, threw a few dollars at it to buy this truck. And um, so we're going to do a little review on it today and show you um, some of the options and features that it has on it and uh, we'll see what we think about it. We're going to do a few things here on the channel with it as far as some mods to it that I like to do, um, maybe possibly a new radio in it. Our different radio um you know back whenever this radio that's in it which you'll see here in a little bit you know it was a big screen at the time and it's just not anymore so i want to get that changed out and um uh, possibly we'll do a tuner on it um do some other mods on it too that um that i think it needs to have done to it so all right well stand by and we'll get you introduced to the truck and show you what i like about it and dislike about it and see what you think what we've got is um, six inch suspension lift. It is a, let's see if we can see it up under here, but um, it is a rough country, six inch suspension lift. I have checked it over, it was installed correctly. Um, it has, instead of the puck system that most of them do, they do a six inch riser right there. This has the full on strut. Um, which makes the ride just unbelievable. I mean, this truck drives, you know, it'd probably ride a little better if it was the coilover, but it's not, it's still running. Um, the factory, um, you know, A-frame, upper control arm, whatever, not A-frame, but the upper control arm. And I mean, it rides really good considering we're running, you know, TIS off-road 22 inch wheels on here. I don't know what the offset is on them, but I mean, as you can tell, they do come out pretty far. If you look down the side of that truck. So, um, 30, the 35-1250s, you would expect them to really just be all over the road, and it is not. I did go 
and uh, get it aligned after I bought it because I just felt like it, the tires were sagging in a little and I was getting a little bit of wear before I rotated the tires, getting a little bit of wear with some cupping that was starting right here on the inside. So I moved them to the back and not having that problem anymore. So, but, um, so that's what it's running. Uh, it's got that there and it has the block here in the back, which is a, um, it's a really, it's a really nice block. It's a very heavy duty looking block, not just a block they do back there. Um, it was done the right way. Rough country, um, shocks in the rear, and um, it, it runs and drives down the road really well. Now this truck is not the EcoBoost, uh, it's just not me, I'm a V8 guy, I just always have been every truck and car I own. So it has the Coyote motor in it, that's what we're running in it, it's uh, the five liter Coyote, it's not tuned, it doesn't have anything special on it, but we're gonna change that, we're gonna do some of that to it. Um, these 35s, it does lag a little bit on the road at about 75. It wants to, you know, it wants to jump back and forth from 56 if you're pushing the headwind or if you're, uh, you know, traveling up a hill. It, it really wants to kick down and go back and forth. So, but um, we're going to take care of that. We're going to put a tune on it here, here real soon. We're going to do a few things here on the channel and. Uh, to upgrade it even though it has pretty much everything you could ever want spray and bed liner from the factory all right well we'll do some things on here uh, show you what it does um, and we'll get a few projects started on it so look forward to doing a few things on it and sharing it on the channel so we can get this channel to move just a little bit so all right stay tuned we'll get it out and we'll go for a test drive and show you a few things that it can do and some of the options it has All right, so here we are uh, driving the truck, working with 2015 Ford F-150 Lariat. Um, of course, it is four-wheel drive. Um, so as you can see on the four-wheel drive itself, it has you know, all the options as far as um, four high, the auto, uh, four low. It has a rear locker on it. And the rear locker, actually, I believe, will work even in two-wheel drive if I pull out on it. So. Um, the dash I was telling you about, the, the digital dash that this um, the Lariat package comes with. Um, you can see the mileage there. It's got 73,000 miles on it. When I bought the truck, it had about 62 or 3,000 miles on it. So I put about 10,000 miles on it. I mean, I do drive the truck. It doesn't really sit. It has um, you know, the auto fold mirrors. Um, set that up to do or you can manually fold them you know here on the button on the switch itself power windows locks of course everything that you need um, this um, truck also has a auto auto wipe on the auto windshield wiper or on the windshield wipers themselves it has auto wipe if that's set on it has auto lights auto dimming if um, you know when you're driving at nighttime and as long as you got your daytime running lights or you have it on um, auto mode for the headlight switch it'll automatically dim and brighten lights which is really you know I've gotten really not uh, used to it uh, it's a really nice option that, and, and it works really well I haven't had any issues with it not dimming when it's supposed to or any of that so um, also has uh, like I told you the, the lane assist uh, which is what that little button right there is if I hit that button on It'll bring a light on. Let's see if we can get it to do it. You'll see a light come on there in the middle or a, a, a deal um, right there that comes on with what it is, just lane monitoring. So if it just tries to get out of the, the yellow stripe or white stripe, and it might not work on this road because there's no white stripe on the side. So I don't know if that's what it tries to do. But you know, if you try to get over too close to the yellow line, like right now it's wanting to try to bring me back into it. So, um, so it has the, you know, the, the lane monitoring, I guess you call it. So it's really nice if you're on the interstate, you know, driving at nighttime, you know, whatever. So um, I don't run with it on a lot. Um, I do, like I said, if I'm on a long drive or something like that. So, but, but that's just a few of the options it has. You know, it has the, the, the AC there, the bolt, you know, 12 volt plug-in, you know, for, for your phone or whatever, if you want. Um, 
has the what they called at the time the big screen, which is not a big screen anymore, but but it has that with um, you know navigation, everything on it. Uh, has the 360 camera option on this truck. It has the camera on all the corners and mirrors in the front, and back. So um, has all the stuff on on home, you know, as far as climate control or radio, Bluetooth, whatever you want to put it on. It, it has those options. So. This one here actually also has the tow package on it, which is, is nice for the tow brakes or trailer brakes. So that comes in really handy because I do pull a trailer whenever I'm, if I'm buying a project or something like that, I need to go pick it up. Uh, my, my trailer does have brakes on it, so it comes in real handy to have. Um, also has, this truck has the uh, moonroof up top, so um, you hit the shade back and opens up the, the moonroof itself you do the double hit on it and then I'll open it all the way up to the back I'm thinking I'm getting that in there I'm not sure I'm driving so but yeah just a few of the options that are that are on here on this truck and um, center console shift of course um, lots of storage in it um, you know there's a storage compartment in here down inside here we've got a few of the plugs that you can plug in for USB and stuff like that. Um, big center console area, you know, to store whatever you need to store in there. So, but yeah, just a few of the little options that it has. Interior, that's super clean interior um, for being, you know, a 2015 model. I mean, that's right now eight years old, probably nine, depending on when it was actually made and sold. So all the options on the steering wheel. Um, but, but yeah, we're going up here. We're going to pull over and uh, we'll give you a little walk around around the truck. Show you a few of the options that it has on the outside. So, All right, so <clears throat> let's hop out of the truck here and I will give you a little walk around of what we're, um, what we're driving here and what it looks like. Um, you may have seen it on the channel. Um, I did do... Um, front hub replacements on this about oh, about two weeks ago and i did air that as a um as a hub video um, i'll throw that video in the description um if you'd like to go and and take a look at it and see what it is but it would it would be to do the hubs on a four-wheel drive 2015 um ford f-150 so let's jump on out of here and uh, we'll show you what we're looking at here All right, so before everybody tears me up on the on the comments, um, yes, it does have the chrome package on it. Um, never been a big fan of the chrome, but on this truck, because of it being silver, I just don't think it looks bad at all. Now, mind you, come from the factory, <clears throat> it has chrome on it all over the place. It has the chrome door handles. It's going to have the chrome mirror caps, um, you know, all the chrome emblems. Chrome bumpers, chrome grill, chrome tow hooks. It's just a lot to change out if we were to go and change this all over to black it out or to color match it. So I'm not going to. They did the six inch lift on it. I like the wheels that were put on it, the TS, TIS off road wheels. Like I said, these are 22 by 12s um, with some 35, um, 35 1250s <clears throat> on it. So, and they are the um, open country um, Toyo RTs. So, yeah, that's what we're working with here. Um, now, back over here. I did um, add right after I got it because I just could not handle how quiet it was knowing that there was a Coyote motor in there. So, I went and I decided, I started looking to see what I wanted to do for exhaust. And <clears throat> I was just... And the exhaust stuff that you buy out there is so expensive. And so I didn't do it. Um, I'll try to show you up in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I straight piped it, uh, left the resonator, moved the muffler from it. What I said, uh, still has a resonator up there, still has all the caps, everything. And then I cut the ugly tailpipe off of it because I didn't like it. And I had tip welded on up underneath the truck here and it's not bad I mean it looks actually really good going down the road you only see it if you're looking for it and you can kind of tell up underneath there you can see it 
It sounds really good. Uh, it sounds real good. Uh, we'll show you what it sounds like when I take off here in a minute and give you a little, um, little preview of what that sounds like. So, but other than that, that's what we're working with. Uh, it's that spray and bed liner in the rear. Uh, truck has just about every option that you could want. Um, has the auto doors that lock and unlock. Um, you can press it here and, and it'll lock it. Keys in my pocket. Come in here and just put your hand inside and it unlocks it and you're ready to get inside the truck. But like I said, just a <coughs> really nice clean truck. For being a 2015, I just, I couldn't believe it was a 2015. And you know, some of the reviews that I've done on, you know, since I bought the truck is, you know, the 2015 is, you know, one of the best models, 15 to 17. It's one of the best models that, you know, a lot of these people are driving you know, like, um, as far as with the motor that it has in it, the Coyote, the package setup that it has, other than the screen being a little small, but I mean, I, that will, you know, we'll get that changed out. I really would like to put, you know, the bigger screen that goes in here and deletes a lot of this stuff. So, but we'll look into that and see if that's what we want to do. But a few of the um, other things that the truck does offer that came with the Lariat package that, you know, I thought I could live without, you know, I wasn't used to having them on my older, um, I had an older Ford truck, an uh, older Chevy truck, and I'd say older, the 2000 and the 2010, but you know, some of the options or features, extra features that I didn't have that I've been living without all these years that I actually really like that this truck has. And um, it does have the, the heated and the cooled seats, which the cooled seat really makes a big difference in the summertime when it's hot outside and you get in the truck. Um, it also has, if you can see here, it has the heated steering wheel. Really nice option on them cold mornings. Um, would have never thought, but you know, it really isn't a bad little option that the truck does have with it. And then also didn't have to do anything to the radios. One of the first trucks I've had that I didn't have to go in and replace speakers and add subwoofer to give it a little, you know, just a good sound. I don't care about the heavy bass. I mean, I'm not, young kid anymore but i like a good sound and, and this uh, this truck does have the sony sound system in it uh, behind the back seat back here it does have the um, subwoofer i think it's a 10 inch factory subwoofer that's in it and it has a really nice sound really good sound for being you know a what i would call a factory install so kind of like my mustang it had the shaker system in it which had a subwoofer box in the back of the trunk that was stock on it and it sounded really good as well and I would compare this radio system in this truck to that in that Mustang. It sounded really well. It's got a lot of speakers in it. I think it has 10 or 11 speakers, maybe 12, just count the sub. But there's quite a few speakers in here and it, it does, it really does sound really good for being a stock um, stereo. So but just a few of the options that it does have and that um, I didn't mention earlier. So, all right. All right, I wanted to <clears throat> show you the um, backup camera on this. So once you hit reverse, I've got it set up on here in the, in the settings that it'll stay on for about three, until you hit about three miles per hour and then it'll shut off. But this is the camera view that this truck has. It has, um, you know, like I said, the 360 view. Um, it has the, the front view, back view. You can take and come up here and hit the button and it will change to just revert the back side or the uh, front. And from what I understand, I have not experienced this yet because I have yet to take this, road off, this truck off-roading. But from what I understand, if this is in four low, this camera on the front or the back, however you want to switch to it, will stay on and um, show you kind of where you're creeping or crawling through while you're four-wheel driving. Now, that's gonna go off, of course, I believe at a certain miles per hour, because you're in four low, of course, you're not gonna be going probably faster than eight or 10 miles an hour because you're crawling. So, but, um, but I do have the, I did buy a four scan to come in here and do a little bit of um, things to it, to change a few things out. We might do that, like I said, we'll probably make that one of our videos as well, um, as far as some of the things we'll come in and change and get rid of and stuff like that, so. But yeah, but there you go. That's a review on the backup system itself. So right now I'll go ahead and start it and we'll show you um, what this straight pipe sounds like if you can hear this. Um, we'll open this back glass and see if we can hear a little bit better. 
but it's not loud at all. It has no drone to it whatsoever. Uh, it just sounds really good. And that's it on a startup. Now it's not a cold start. Now. I mean, I've been driving the truck, but we'll give it a little gas. So but that's what it sounds like. Um, like I said, it's not anything loud at all on it. Um, it sounded just really good, real good and healthy. Uh, got the seatbelt on here. Make sure we're legal. We don't want to get pulled over for no reason at all. Um, but yeah, it um, it just it runs and drives real good. We'll give you a little taste of a little pull right here. Get some goes, you can see it's kind of a bouncy, bumpy road, so we can't get on it too much. But, but yeah, that's just a little preview here of the truck. And like I said, we're going to do some some work on it. I've already got you know one thing up on it on the hubs, um, and then we're going to go ahead and do a few other things to it. Um, you know, as far as some just some add-ons to help it with performance, uh, maybe to help it with some of the miles per gallon. It does not, you know, get the greatest um, miles per gallon on it. But I would rather give up that than to run a six-cylinder turbo myself. Uh, I'm just not a fan. I know a lot of people love them, and, and I and more power to you. If that's what you like, you should definitely run it. Um, it's just, you know, I prefer the V8 motor, so I, would, I give up, you know, a little bit of fuel mileage with it. So, but, um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. That's what we got. So if you like what we're doing here on the channel, you know, go on and check it out. We're going to post up some more stuff on this try to post something up on it you know every week or so maybe every couple weeks and um, throw a few things in between on it and um, see what we can see what we can do here on YouTube all right and then one last feature be the auto start that came with this truck and yeah, man it is a super nice feature to have on the cold mornings or here in Texas how we've been having these hot days it's 102 five outside and inside that truck it's 135 140 uh, you come in here and you press this, this here, press that, and you got auto start. And man, it automatically senses the temperature outside if it's hot, it kicks it on cold. If it's cold out, it kicks it on heat. And uh, just a really, really nice option that I've never had on a car before. It's the only first one I've ever had that with, and, and I do, I use it quite a bit, so. But I believe that's about the last thing, last feature I can think of that it has on it. Um, I know we talked about this V8. Um, you know, I like, like a review. My review on this truck is, is good. I mean, I, I like just about everything there is about this truck. Um, you know, if it wasn't already lifted, I would have lifted it. I mean, it drives still like it's new off the showroom floor. And it's 2015. I mean, it's eight, maybe nine years old. So, but there's the review on it. Um, Really nice truck, 2015 to 17, I believe was the same style. Um, I like the truck, I, I just, I like just about everything about it. Like I said, I never was a chrome package guy, but this one just seems to fit with it being a, a silver truck. So, um, it just, it looks really good, so. All right, good deal. Well, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time here in the Man Cave.